today's tech spot, we will be having a look at the 1x1 one one Smart LED Bulb. The Smart LED Bulb with speaker allows you to combine light and music and control both from compatible mobile devices such as your phones. It supports Android uh, 2.3 Point three and later also supports iPhone 4s and later with iOS 7.0 and later versions an interesting concept in that it would be controlling color as well as sounds that's been around the side of the box this is again by one by one products Inc here's the QR code if you'd like to scan it for the app download and then on the back features power supply AC 100 volt to 240 volt supports mobile music player built in a 4R 3W power output colorful LED display supports Android and iOS smartphone control colorful LED display via app software does your specifications down below again we're going to open this up so I'll show you guys hands on how this works that being said, Spot's going to take a break, going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the smart LED bulb from 1x1. One one. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. For your list of contents, it's actually pretty small. You get yourself an instruction guide showing you how to set up, configure, and use the smart LED bulb. Uh, the, again, the instructions are fairly straightforward. I'll show you guys how it will work in a second. Fairly easy to read through instruction guide. And of course, you get the bulb itself. It's much broader than most incandescent bulbs, again, because there's a lot of activity that's going to be coming from this. It's also much heavier than a conventional light bulb for that same reason. So the first thing we're going to do is Spot's going to take his phone get his QR code scanner here gonna scan the code that's featured on the side of the box and from that we're gonna install the software that's included the QR code will open up a download page for the smart LED phone with an option to either download it for Android or to install it for iPhone and I'm gonna go ahead and select iPhone or Apple and we're going to install the software. Obviously as well, in order for me to show you how the features work on a light bulb, I'm going to need myself a light. And for that, I've grabbed one of my living room lights here to give this a try. Now, the only downside though, and this is not to say that every lamp is going to have this issue, the clasp that the light lamp shade sits over top, uh, unfortunately, the frame is a little too short once you add it or at least with mine once I've added it to the lamp it doesn't actually clear the bulb sits a little too high to the closure so I ended up taking off for this one it's not to say that it's going to affect every lamp per se but uh, I would have to take it off uh, in order to put it on at least on my lamp Going into the app itself, the first thing it's going to be doing is searching for a Bluetooth connection. But while it's doing that, I want to show you some of the other features that are on the app itself besides the connect option. There is the section down below. Let me just click on this. You have a section for your music. Now it pairs itself with your music library. The option for the lamp where you can adjust the coloring as well as brightness that the bulb is going to project. You have an on and off switch. And you also have your settings where you can assign a time as to when the lamp's going to turn on and when it's going to turn off. A necessary step that you'll have to do too is go into your Bluetooth settings of your phone and select the device BL05 to pair your phone with the bulb. And you'll see that it connects and it'll issue a little ringtone to let you know that it has been successfully connected. Once you have connected and once you've got the lamp turned on, then you can go through the settings provided on the app of the phone and be able to go in and control the, the lamp itself. Now, I currently have the lamp on, although you may not be able to see that it's currently doing anything because I've switched it off. And I want to show you how it works by that. Now it's configured with the phone. You have a dimmer switch, which is the bottom option, and then you have the saturation of color as the top bar. Right now I've got it off, 
and I'm just going to have my phone to the side so you can see the light bulb, how it works. I select the bottom dimmer switch and I'm going to turn it on. And you can see how the light bulb has turned itself on. Again, increasing the brightness scale of it. And I can scale it all the way down as well to give us a lower light. Currently, I've got it just as a default white because you have to add the saturation level and currently saturation is off on the coloring. But up here, you can also decide what color you wanna change it to. So let's say, for example, we change it to, uh, let's say a pink. And as you can see, the light has turned a bright pink. And from there, you can cycle it down to a darker color. Again, brighter, brighter, lighter, I should say, and lighter. Again, you can also do that for the manual colors it uh, optioned down below. So you have, for example, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or light blue, dark blue, and pink. And all the while, you can also manually select a different hint, a different change of color, by rotating the color field listed up below, or a list above, and you can see how it impacts and affects the light bulb. And here's another closer look at how that works. Let's say we set it to green. We can adjust the scale color of green. As you can see, it's adjusting itself in the light bulb, and you can increase and decrease the brightness. So let's say we have it as bright as we can, and let's bring it over to a darker green or in this case let's even bring it to like a red so you guys can see how bright how bright red that's projecting at any given point you can also go to your on and off switch and turn off the light bulb by use of your phone an ideal situation if you're leaving the room and you have full control of it in your phone you can turn it off and you, you'll know that at least that way you haven't left it on and when you enter in the room, you can turn it off very turn it on very easily via the app. Very handy. Now this is a smart light bulb too, so above and beyond just it doing the coloring and the dimness of light, you also have full access to music. We'll click on the selection of songs that I just have in my music list right now. And the funny thing, you'll play the song, you'll hear that the sound is not actually coming from my phone. And in fact, I'll move the phone out of the way you'll hear that the sound is coming in fact from the light bulb. Let's go ahead and select a song. Let's do some ballroom blitz. That sounds good. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move my phone out of the way. And you can see that volume is coming out not from the phone, but it's coming from the light bulb. And if you really want to make the party happen, go to lamp again. And we had it originally on man manual, which leaves it as a one singular color. However, if you select auto, it turns the light bulb off, but then go back to your music and hit play again. And you'll see, it'll cycle through the colors and play to the beats of the song. The one by one smart LED bulb is one of those perfect inventions for a party, especially with it being Halloween today. If you're having a Halloween party and you think to yourself, you know what, I want to do something cool. Why not have a light bulb that plays music as well as flicks and changes along with the beat? It's a very cool invention. One of the first times I've actually seen it in a, in a light bulb form. It's very, very cool. Spots will provide the link down below if you guys are interested in picking up one of these for yourself. Very cool invention. Today's tech spot, we were having a look at the one by one smart LED bulb. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more tech spots in your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.